bitter ending for traitors. Charles No Mercy excludes Harry, Meg, Andrew from state event for Queen. Prince Harry, his wife Meghan Markle, and Uncle Prince Andrew will reportedly not be attending an important state event this weekend, days ahead of Queen Elizabeth's funeral, Hello Magazine reported. As per reports, an official state event hosted by King Charles III is scheduled for Sunday, September 18, 2022, with heads of states and official foreign guests on the invite list alongside working royals, which means Prince Harry, Meghan, and Prince Andrew have been excluded from the list. A spokesperson from Buckingham Palace confirmed the same saying that only working royals will take part. The palace statement also said, the King and the Queen Consort will host heads of state and official overseas guests at Buckingham Palace ahead of the state funeral of Her Majesty the Queen. This will be an official state event. This comes as Prince Harry, Meghan, and Andrew joined senior royal family members in a procession behind the Queen's coffin as it was transported to Westminster Hall where it now lays in state. Royal correspondent Charles Ray has claimed the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will drop more bombshells about the royal family in the upcoming months. His claims were made as he was interviewed by Isabel Webster on GB News on Thursday morning when he reflected on the Queen's lying in state procession. Isabel told GB News viewers they could compare the silence in the crowd of mourners to the silence from the Duke and Duchess of Sussex at the moment. There is lots of speculation about what might or might not be said in the upcoming months as they return stateside and start doing interviews and all the rest of it to promote podcasts and whatnot, she added. When asked if he thought the hatchet had been buried between William and Harry, Charles said, No, I see it as a temporary ceasefire and I think it is right we don't hear from them yet. Harry's tell-all memoir was due to be released later this year, Charles said, and he is anticipating there will be criticism of the royal family. However, it has been reported the highly anticipated book will now not be published until next year. A source told The Telegraph the memoir will no longer be released as planned as Harry and Meghan observe the mourning period. Meghan may well start again with her podcast which has been stopped for the time being, and there will of course be interviews again, Charles continued. There is a question of what she says in these interviews and nothing is solved, it's a temporary ceasefire. Meghan has paused two episodes of her relatively new podcast archetypes in respect of the late monarch's death. Her first episode dropped on Spotify last month as Meghan sat down with tennis star Serena Williams to talk openly about the difficulty of living in the public eye. Meghan and Harry have been pictured with the Wales paying respects to the late Queen in recent days, it is the first time they have been seen together in a significant amount of time. Elsewhere in the GB News interview, Charles spoke to Isabella about mourners queuing overnight throughout central London to pay their respects to the late Queen. Reflecting on traffic coming to a standstill earlier this week, Charles said, Thousands of people were lining up the A40 in the pouring rain and I suspect people, wherever the weather would turn out anyway as they just want to pay their respects. This is history in the making that we are watching and it is something we will never see again. Officials expect about 750,000 people to view it before the lying in state ends at 6.30 a.m. on Monday. Isabel said the procession on Wednesday had echoes of Princess Diana's lying in state in 1997 when her sons had to walk behind her coffin. Even when her sons...
Thank you.